You know, at first I thought it was just a coincidence, but now I'm thinking, is this it's a sign? Is anyone else seeing this? Welcome back to New Who HQ, I am Matt. And if you've watched the opening, well, three episodes of Shooting Out Wild, which is The Church on Ruby Road, Space Babies, and The Devil's Chord, you would have realised that in every single episode, apart from Space Babies, I think, um, the fourth wall has been broken. And at first I just thought, you know, yeah, fair enough. Uh, you don't really think anything of it. It's now happened three times. Mrs. Flood, uh, the Doctor and Maestro have all winked at us, looked directly into the camera and winked at us. That this is part of a potential mystery box. It's quite meta. This series is what I'm starting to realise on Doctor Who. And it's almost like they're in a television. Now this is a theory that I have seen going around. Um, I didn't see the theory and then thought of this video. I've been thinking about it ever since I saw it happen. And I thought, is anyone else thinking it? And it turns out they are. I'm certainly not the first person to think this, but how true really is this and what could it mean? My main theory is, is this something I've also seen already, is that something to do with the toy maker and his legions and uh, with David Tennant, the 14th Doctor, back in the Giggle, sorry, in Wild Blue Yonder, uh, putting the salt, you know, um, which is bad luck in, at the end of the universe, to let the demons in or whatever. Is that something to do with the fact now that we are now starting to see things turning a little bit more supernatural. Now we heard that in the trailer, we haven't seen Unit yet, but that was said by Kate Lethbridge-Stewart, I believe. And could that all be tying together to the fact that we're going to see someone in Doctor Who that we've never seen before, in New Who at least. My theory is, is that somehow, I'm not quite sure, but the supreme being, the one who waits, could potentially be someone beyond this universe, to the point where maybe they even control certain aspects, if not all of the universe, the demons being let into this universe with the soul in Wild Blue Yonder. And there are a few reasons why I think um, this could be a thing. With the butterfly effect joke um, and seeing Ruby turn into this whatever it was, a lizard or whatever, um, and then she was kind of back to normal in uh, yeah, 20 seconds. It was definitely um, something which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting it to be a bit more part of the plot, but it turns out that it was just a little joke. Um, but there's no explanation about how that sort of happened or anything like that, unless that is hinting at something. There's also in The Devil's Chord when uh, Ruby started singing from a song deep inside her soul, which the Ma caught the maestro off guard, and the maestro says, you know, how, you know, how can he be in there or something like that something about the one who waits. And it seems to me that like this is such a supreme supreme being that can time travel, but just has overall control. And with puppets being a big thing of the toy maker, could this be something to do with maybe this supreme being is playing the universe like a puppet. It's doing whatever it wants to do. Now the actual winks to the screen, I don't know why they do that. Maybe it's kind of a hint to the audience that uh, something's obviously not right here, but um, it's something to look out for. And if we still see the winking, then uh, it's it's it, it yeah. This is this is something we need to watch out for. And the reason why I think this is linked to the toy maker and his legions and all of that is because everybody that's winked so far has been a part of the toy maker in some way. So you've got Mrs. Flood, who we don't know who Mrs. Flood is, but it could very much be linked to the toy maker. We know that, uh, you know, um, Maestro is part of toy maker and is one of his legions, and the Doctor got forced to buy Generate uh, through the toy maker. Could there have been something there where that could have gone wrong and it's actually down to the toy maker as to why they buy Generated? Um, so there's a lot there that can be unpicked, I'm sure we'll learn more throughout the series. You've also got the returning character of Susan Twist, the actress, uh, Mrs. Murugu, I believe her name is. Um, she has appeared in basically every episode in a small little cameo. You probably even missed her at times. She was in Space Baby, she's in The Devil's Chord. I think she was in The Giggle, Wild Blue Yonder. She was in Wild Blue Yonder at the start. Um, 
And there is some sort of theory that if this is potentially we are seeing, they are in a TV show and someone is controlling them, then reusing characters is something which is done in TV shows. So using her reoccurring could be maybe part of her, part of this potential TV show. Also, The Legend of Ruby Sunday, which is an upcoming episode, the teaser for that had, was like in a TV studio. Um, I don't know, maybe this is all centered around Ruby, maybe this has nothing to do with Ruby. But there's certainly uh, a lot of um, things to watch out for, which honestly I wasn't really thinking about any of this until I, until the Devil's Core when it happened again, and I was like, yeah, uh, three times is definitely uh, a cause to pay attention. But let me know what you think about this. It's a really interesting theory, and there's definitely something going on here. I could be completely wrong, or actually it could literally mean nothing, and I just sound really stupid. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Goodbye.